This is how I get amped up and give myself a little bit of energy for the reactions. But the world never cares me with my pants down. Always been a stand up guy, I'd rather stand out. Go pretty Flacco Jordy. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited. I'm f the fuck? Ew, they're dirtier than your sister. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's probably very nice. I'm feeling good. I just took a shower. For some reason, I'm wearing a hoodie with no shirt underneath. I'm just feeling myself right now. And today we're gonna be watching Forrest Gump, which is actually a movie I've seen, but it's it's probably been like the better part of a decade since I've seen this movie. So the only thing that I really remember are like the memes that laughs like a box of chocolates and then dude saying shrimp a bunch. Coconut shrimp. Now, if you want to watch these full-length movies with me instead of these chopped up versions, I'm gonna leave the link to the Patreon down below in the top of the description. Go check it out if you want to. Super excited to be checking this video out with you guys. So with all that being said, let's dive into Forrest Gump. Ew. Forrest Gump, baby. Forrest motherfucking Gump, baby. God, this makes me just want to start playing the piano, doesn't it? Wish I had long hair, smoking a cigarette, and playing. Nike Cortez's, baby. Nike Cortez's. Huh, he kept a feather. Honestly, I would never do that. It's probably filthy. You don't know what the hell's on that. Hello, my name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. Bitch, say your name. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I didn't know that quote was this early. Those must be comfortable shoes. <laughs> I wish I had shoes like that. In her head, she's like, will you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to read this magazine. I can remember my first pair of shoes. All right, Forrest. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> The hell? What kind of doctor's just smoking a cigarette in the appointment? We're gonna straighten him right up now, aren't we, Forrest? Forrest! <laughs> I don't trust that doctor. Hey, we're gonna straighten him all up, give him a pack of smokes and a pat on the back! Get that spine in alignment! What? You're no different than anybody else is. It's like kind of a stupid thing to tell a kid. I mean, you're very different and you need to embrace the difference. You are no different. Your boy's different. different. <laughs> you 75. Or as dumb as a stump. The state requires a minimum IQ of 80 to attend public school, Mrs. Gump. Just bump him up a couple points and give him some special attention. There must be something can be done. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? What does that have to do with anything, creep? Hey, 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 who sounds like that? Well, your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. <laughs> the fuck just happened? You don't say much, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sound like a stuck pig, dude. I guess you could say me and mama was on our own. Yeah, except for old fucking Byron. <laughs> They was always folks coming and going. One time a young man was staying with us and he had him a guitar case. I was just showing him a thing or two on the guitar here. Oh shit, is that Elvis? Say man, show me that crazy little walk you just did there. Oh my God. Elvis got his dance moves from Forrest. <laughs> Yo, that's cool as fuck. Please, you exposed him to the craziest sounds for his ears. You do your very best now, Forrest. I sure will, Mama. She loves him so much. Jesus Christ. Are you coming along? What kind of bus driver are you? It's like, it's like... Yeah, no shit, because there's no more room. It's like... Aww. Asshole kids. You can sit here if you want. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. She helped me learn how to read. I showed her how to dangle. <laughs> she helped me learn how to read. I showed her my dangle. I'm sorry. I'm ruining the wholesome moment. For some reason, Jenny didn't ever want to go home. She was my most special friend. Hey, dummy! Oh! Are you I saw that happening, I'd hit a child. Kids are such assholes, dude. Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest! Run, Forrest! Run, Forrest, 
Doesn't he break free from this shit? Yeah, boy! Let's go! Now you wouldn't believe it if I told you. But I could run like the wind blows. <laughs> Are you gonna contribute to this conversation? Who ignores someone that much? Damn. They need to put that boy in track and field. Now remember how I told you that Jenny never seemed to want to go home? Yeah. Her daddy was some kind of a farmer. He was always kissing and touching her and her sisters. Oh. Come on. You better get back here, girl. Ew. Where you at? Dude just gets fucking drunk and rapes his daughters? I would fuck that dude up. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. Make me a bird. Oh, that's so sad. God is mysterious. He had the police say Jenny didn't have to stay in that house no more. Good. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Hey, stupid. <laughs> You're still throwing rocks at this dude? Grow the fuck up. Run, Lord. Why is this still an issue? Seriously? Run, Lauren! Run! What kind of fuckhole high school kids? You all hop in the bed of my truck throwing rocks at special kids! Come on now! The fuck? Oh, cause they got a Confederate flag on the front of their car. Okay. I ran to get where I was going. I never thought it would take me anywhere. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, boy's fast as fuck. I got to go to college, too. Run! Okay! Run! Run! Okay! Yeah! Dude. <laughs> boy's fast as fuck. Oh. Oh! My bus is here. It was nice talking to you. No, it wasn't. She didn't say a damn word. Jenny went to a college I couldn't go to. It was a college just for girls. But I go and visit her every chance I got. She, oh, sweet God, Jenny. <laughs> Starts whooping his ass. Let's go. Stop it, Billy. Wait a second. Jenny. He doesn't know what he's mad at. He was protecting you. Why'd you do that? Because you were saying, ow, that hurts. Brought you some chocolate. <laughs> I'll go back to my college now. Aww. Forrest, look at you. What? He waited in the rain to give you chocolate and he was trying to save you. Don't be mad at him. I want to be famous. I want to be a singer like Joan Baez. Joan Baez? The fuck is that? And I want to reach people on a personal level. <laughs> I can see your boobs. <laughs> Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? Is she, is she gonna... She's... Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jenny! Let's go! Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's called an erection, Forrest. It's okay. Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Jenny's freaky, dude. I think I ruined your roommate's bathroom. Oh, dude busted already? Oh. <laughs> okay. After only five years of playing football, I got a college degree. Mama was so proud. <laughs> Have you given any thought to your future? Not much. Hello, I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. Nobody gives a husky shit who you are, bus ball! <laughs> You're not even a low life scum sucking maggot! Get your baby <laughs> ass on the bus oh. for the army now! Okay, nice to see you too. Get your ass on the whole bus! Piece of horse ass! Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's so intense. Sit down if you want to. That's Bubba, right? My given name is... Benjamin Buford Blue. People call me Bubba. Just like one of them old redneck boys. Yeah! Can you believe that? My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. <laughs> I'm going into the shrimping business for myself after I get out the army. Okay. Y'all boys gonna Duh! start. What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. <laughs> you must have a goddamn IQ of 160. Now, for that some reason, I fit in the me. army like one of them round pegs. Done, drill sergeant? Jesus H. Christ. This is a new company record. You are going to be a general someday, go. Anyway, like I was saying, days on shrimp kebabs, shrimp creole. Gumbo, <laughs> pan fried, deep fried, stir fried. All this boy thinks about is shrimp. Lemon shrimp, <laughs> coconut shrimp, 
Pepper shrimp, shrimp soup, <laughs> shrimp stew, shrimp salad. They're shrimping my ass. Your dick small look like a shrimp. Your cousin's real short. Call him shrimpy. Night time in the army is a lonely time. I'd miss Jenny. Hey, go. Get a load of the tits on her. Watch out, he's gonna bust in his sheets. <laughs> Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of oh. her college sweater. Oh, Jenny. Sweet God, she's doing... Okay. All right. A man who owns a theater saw those photos and offered Jenny a job singing in a show. Okay. Just taking advantage of her dream. Hey, sugar, I got a gig. I got a gig for you where you sing alone with a guitar on stage. But make sure your tight ties are at... What? Our dream had come true. Not quite. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. Beat down time. Come here, shrimp. Boris, what are you doing here? You can't keep doing this, Boris. You can't keep trying to rescue me. Well, you're putting yourself in shit ass situations. A lot of people try to grab me. You can't keep doing this all the time. I love you. Oh. Forrest, you don't know what love is. The fuck? Gives you the right to say that to him. You remember that time we prayed, Forrest? We prayed for God to turn me into a bird so I could fly far, far away. Yeah, what'd you wish for? To be turned into a damn cockatoo? That's a dick joke. I gotta get out of here. Forrest, you stay away from me. Can what? I ride? Where you going? I don't care. Hey. Get in the truck. Who the fuck's car are you getting in? They sending me to Vietnam. Just, if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Just run away. <laughs> Shit ass advice. Okay. I write you all the time. <laughs> she didn't deserve you, Forrest. And just like that, she was gone. <laughs> oh. That's so sad. Now they told us that Vietnam was gonna be very different from the United States of America. It was. Wow. You must be my FNGs. FNG. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to- Lieutenant Dan, baby! What's wrong with your lip? Spawn with big gums, sir. You better tuck that in. I'm gonna get that caught on a tripwire. <laughs> Jesus. Stick with me. You learn from the guys that have been in country a while, you'll be all right. Lieutenant Dan sure knew his stuff. Somebody in his family had fought and died in every single American war. I guess you could say he had a lot to live up to. Two standing orders in this platoon. Take good care of your feet. Two, try not to do anything stupid by like getting yourself killed. Okay. Now you boys go get yourself some steaks. I'm gonna be down here and shit her. We would take these real long walks. We were always looking for this guy named Charlie. <laughs> One day, it started raining. And it didn't quit for four months. Four months of solid rain? Fuck that. How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? Bubba gum shrimp, baby. I've never been to one of the restaurants, but I know they're actual restaurants, right? Are they pretty good? I even wrote Jenna and told her all about it. Jenna didn't give a fuck. Oh, she's hippie as fuck, dude. She probably been going down the goddamn Charles Manson camp with all those weird folk. Just like that, somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. Fuck! Get the fuck up here, goddammit! Holy shit, I would be a fucking terrible person in the military. Can you imagine me out there? <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. I ran and ran just like Jenny told me. Okay, maybe that actually was good advice. Bubba. Bubba was my best good friend. I had to make sure he was okay. But every time I went back looking for Bubba, somebody else was saying, help me, Forrest, help me. Dude, he's a fucking rock star, man. Ah! God, I said leave me here, goddammit! What? Why? Then it felt like something just jumped up and bit me. Dude, that's honestly so badass. Forget about me, get yourself out! 
You were gonna die. Oh, that's what he wanted, right? Everyone in his family died in a war, so he wanted to do. He wanted to die in a war himself. I got an airstrike inbound right now. They're gonna nate the whole area. I gotta find Bubba. Oh my God, dude! They're about to fucking strike that bitch down. Oh shit. Okay, Boris. <gasps> Ow. Come Holy shit. Dude just saved fucking seven people, did some Terminator shit, bro. Actually never seen the Terminator, but pretty sure that still makes sense. Bob was gonna be a shrimp and boat captain, but instead he died right there by that river in Vietnam. That's all I had to say about that. It was a bullet, wasn't it? That jumped up and bit you. Yeah, he got shot in the asshole. Yes, sir. Bit me directly in the buttocks. They said it was a million dollar wound, but the army must keep that money because I still ain't seen a nickel that million <laughs> The only good thing about being wounded in the buttocks is I already had a hole. They gave me all the ice cream I could eat. Oh. Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't care how bad your life gets, it's always time for ice cream, right? Oh, God! Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Okay. Gump. I'm Forrest Gump. What? All returned? Why? Jenny, what the hell are you out here doing? You know how to play this? Oh, ping pong. Let's go. Come on, let me show you. Never, ever take your eye off the ball. I would, besides Forrest, I would fuck everybody up at ping pong. So I started playing it all the time. Let's go. I even played it in my sleep. I should have died out there with my men, but now I'm nothing but a goddamn cripple. Do you know what it's like not to be able to use your legs? Yeah, he does. Y yes, sir, I do. You cheated me. He saved your life. I was supposed to die in the field. That was my destiny. It's a stupid destiny. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. You still Lieutenant Dan. It's gotta be so difficult. Imagine, like, losing both legs. How fucking different would your life be? That'd be so hard. What am I gonna do now? You could watch movies at your house and put your reactions on YouTube. Son, you've been awarded the Medal of Honor. Let's go! America owes you a debt of gratitude, son. Dude, that's fucking awesome! Where were you hit? In the butt talk, so I'd kinda like to see that. <laughs> Whip your ass out, Forrest! <laughs> oh, damn, son. What do you mean? You asked to see it. Kinda. <laughs> Everywhere I went, I had to stand in line. <laughs> oh, he's a <laughs> He's protesting the war! You're a good man for doing this. Good! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Come on, man! Come up here, man! Tell us a little bit about the war, man. Well, there's only one thing I can say about the war in Vietnam. <laughs> fuck this protest! Keep our boys out there! That's it! That's all I have to say. About <laughs> okay! Is that Jenny? Of course she's fucking Dad! protesting the war. And you're not supposed to be in that water! <laughs> oh, wow. Jenny and me were just like peas and carrots again. Shut that blonde man and get your white ass away from that window. Who's the baby killer? This is my good friend I told you about. This is Forrest what? Forrest, this is Wesley. Fuck you, Wesley. Looks like a fucking idiot. Yes, we are against all these racist and imperial dog acts. Nice, Jenny. Nice. Good picking dudes. That dude's fucked. Beat his ass, Forrest! Beat his ass! Yeah, fuck that dude. <laughs> all the guys she likes get their ass kicked by Forrest. <laughs> Should not be hitting you, Jenny. Sorry I had a fight in the middle of your Black Panther party. <laughs>
He doesn't mean it when he does things like this, it doesn't. <laughs> I would never hurt you, Jenny. He doesn't mean it, seriously. That's the fucking classic cycle of abuse. I wanted to be your boyfriend. Forrest, I'm sorry. A lot of women don't like nice guys. Why would you not want a guy that protects you every single time you're in danger? He won the Medal of Honor, he's the nicest fucking dude around. What's your issue? We walked around all night, Jenny and me. I didn't want it to end. Wish you wouldn't go, Jenny. I have to, Forrest. Oh, this fucking dude? It would never hurt you. No. You know that. What? What did we just see? Wasted. You know what I think. Yeah, look at me again, Wesley, you fucking douchebag. You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama. Tell him, Forrest. Not some Berkeley bullshit where these hippie bitches are. We have very different lives, you know. Yeah, yours sucks shit. <gasps> Do not give her the Medal of Honor. I want you to have this. He's the best guy in the world. Forrest, I can't keep this. No, nah, she'll probably sell it for coke money. Why are you so good to me? Because he loves you. You're my girl. <sighs> I'll always be your girl. I love Jenny still. I just wish she wasn't making such poor choices. <laughs> Fuck you, Wesley. And just like that, she was gone. <sighs> I thought I was going back to Vietnam. But instead, they decided the best way for me to fight the communists was to play <laughs> ping pong. The army decided that I should be on the All-America ping pong team. Let's go! So when I got home, I was a national celebrity. <laughs> famous or even in Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> they gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Now that's Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, it is! Lieutenant Dan! Yeah, it is! Lieutenant Dan said he was living in a hotel. I'm living off the government tip. <laughs> he was stopping. <laughs> Suck it! Hey, hey, hey! Are you I'm walking, walking here! Hey, that's how people in New York say hello. Hey, I'm walking here, fucking cocksucker! What the hell is in Bayou La Battery? Shrimp and boats. On <laughs> <laughs> the day that you are a shrimp boat captain, I will come and be your first mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. <laughs> I began to think about Jenny, wondering how she was spending her New Year's night out in California. Okay, why am I not surprised? Oh my God, every man in your life starts whooping your ass, Jenny. Pick different, go with Forrest. He's right in front of your goddamn face. Poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I look like at parties. Like that. Every party I've ever been to, I look like that. Oh. 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 What are you stupid or something? Don't call him stupid! Get out of here! <laughs> you freak your eyes, loser, you freak! Bitches? You were just touching my shaft! I'm sorry I ruined you. New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Diane. She tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> Ew. She probably also tastes like chlamydia. Happy New Year, Gump. I love their relationship. Coach Gump, I have your discharge papers. And just like that, my service in the United States Army was over. I love how his entire life he just goes with the flow. He just does whatever the fuck, dude. I'm her mama. I know. We've had all sorts of visitors, Forrest. Everybody wants you to use their ping pong stuff. One man even left a check for $25,000 if you'd be agreeable to saying you like using their paddle. Boys getting all sorts of sponsorships and shit. I didn't stay home for long because I'd made a promise to Bubba. And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. 24 years old. Mm. I'm taking the... $24,562.47. Putting all that on gas, ropes, and new nets. A brand new shrimping boat. Let's go! Oh god, I'm getting seasick just looking at that thing, but it's fucking awesome. Shrimping is tough. One shrimp. Only caught five. A couple of boys, you could have yourself a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad luck to have a boat without a need. I'd never named a boat before, but there was only one I could think of. Jenny. The most beautiful name in the wide world. <sighs> You're too good to her, Forrest. Oh, God. She makes the worst decisions ever. I thought about her a lot. 
It's a perfect contradiction. It's like she's trying to live life, get out there and experience a bunch of crazy shit and stuff by doing everything the wrong way. But Forrest is actually out here doing things the right way and literally experiencing life and everything that it has to offer. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my God, dude, that makes my hands sweat. What are you doing? Get your ass down! I thought about Jenny all the time. He's such a sweet guy. Oh, this is the meme, isn't it? <laughs> Forrest! Who's driving the boat? Lieutenant Dyer! What are you doing here? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. Well, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dyer. <laughs> yes, I know that. I told you if you were ever a shrimp boat captain, that I'd be your first mate. <laughs> it's my boat. <laughs> Hey, that's such a vibe. That's where we're gonna find those shrimp, my boy! <laughs> I wanna look like Lieutenant Dan! Okay, no, we're not doing that. Never mind. Well, maybe you should just pray for shrimp. So I went to church every Sunday. <laughs> and we prayed for shrimp, Sometimes baby! Sometimes Lieutenant Dan came too. Lieutenant Dan? You can't be drinking in church like that. No shrimp. Where the hell's this God of yours? It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that. <laughs> God's gonna show up. God showed up. Yup. They say God works in mysterious ways, man. I was scared, but Lieutenant Dan, he was mad. That right there is one of my worst nightmares. You call this a storm? <laughs> oh, God. Hurricane Carmen came through here yesterday, destroying nearly everything in its path. Only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. Louise, that's forced. Let's go! After that, shrimping was easy. That is so fucking awesome. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? Yes, sir. We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting next to a millionaire. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, you were. Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Yes, I would. That's him right there. Told you. Forrest, I never thanked you for saving my life. <laughs> oh, well, tally ho. He never actually said so, but I think he made his peace with God. It's so wholesome. It's such a wholesome movie. Base to Jenny One. Jenny One, go, Margo. Forrest had a phone call. His mama said. Oh. Hi, Forrest. Oh. Is that the same ass doctor from the beginning? We sure got you straightened out, didn't we, boy? <laughs> you didn't do shit. Uh, maybe he did. I don't know. What's the matter, Mom? I'm dying, Forrest. Why are you dying, Mama? Don't you be afraid, sweetheart. Death is just a part of life. I didn't know it, but I was destined to be your mama. I did the best I could. Well, you did good, Mama. I happen to believe you make your own destiny. You have to do the best with what God gave you. What's my destiny, Mom? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. I will miss you, Forrest. She had got the cancer. Who? Died on a Tuesday. And that's all Ooh. I have to say about that. This movie's so good because it takes you on just a such a wide range of emotions, man. Did you say you were waiting for number seven bucks? There'll be another one along shortly. <clears throat> wow. I love this movie. It's so good. I never went back to work for Lieutenant Dan. Though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money. He got me invested in some kind of fruit company. Fruit go oh, <laughs> Fruit company, yeah. I gave a whole bunch of it to the Four Square Gospel Church. He's such a good a dude, wow. Fishing hospital. Gump Medical Center. And even though Bubba was dead, I gave Bubba's mama Bubba Shea. You ain't broke no more. You know what? She didn't have to work in nobody's kitchen. Roll no reversal. 
Now we got a white chef. But at night time, when there was nothing to do, I'd always think of Jenny. <gasps> oh. And then, she was there. Hello, Forrest. Hello, Jenny. Ah, this... <laughs> Jenny came back and stayed with me. It was wonderful having her home. Every day we'd take a walk and she'd listen about ping-ponging and shrimping and mama making a trip up to heaven. Jenny most of times was, was real quiet. Oh, her old house. Honestly, that's what started all the trauma in her life. Probably what got her on the cycle of bad men. It's easy to be pissed off at Jenny because of all the stupid shit she did, but at the same time, it's like she's truly a victim. Um, super tough. Sometimes, I guess there just aren't enough rocks. I never really knew why she came back. We was like peas and carrots again. <laughs> we was like family, Jenny and me. And it was the happiest time of my life. Will you marry me? What? I'd make a good husband, Jenny. Yeah, you would. You would, Forrest. But you won't marry me. Why not? You don't want to marry me. Oh, she realizes she's not good enough for him. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Jenny. Oh. Forrest, I do love you. <laughs> I won't marry you, but we can play hide the little forest. What? <sighs> and then she just dips again? Where are you running off to? Who the fuck are you? I'm not running. She looks good now. She looks healthy. So sad. Oh, I love this part. I love this part! That day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. Those are the greatest times in life where you're like, I don't know why the fuck I'm doing this, but I'm just gonna do it. That's how I was with making videos. I was like, I know I want to do it, but I'm just gonna fucking do it. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna put out a video a day. Those are the best things in life. When you have those pushes, those urges to do something, that, that like magnetism draws you closer to something or someone. It's like, you gotta follow it. I ran clear to the ocean. And when I got there, I figured since I gone this far, <laughs> might as well turn around. Just keep on going. When I got to another ocean. Fucking California to Maine? You just ran. Yeah. <laughs> Such an inspiring movie. Fucking hell. Makes me want to run across the country. I wonder how many people saw this movie were, was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking run across the country. They got like a mile and a half down the road and were like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> a man named Forrest Gump, a gardener from Greenbow, Alabama, is about to cross the Mississippi River again today. That boy constantly making the news. They just couldn't believe that somebody would do all that running for no particular reason. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I love it. Like running. And after that, I got more company. Because <laughs> I'm in the bumper sticker business. Whoa, man, you just ran through a big pile of dog shit. It happens. What, shit? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> he started Shit Happens. And he made a lot of money off of it. Shit Happens. <laughs> shit Happens. <laughs> Somebody who had lost all his money in the t-shirt business. <laughs> Have a nice day. Well, some years later, I found out that that man <laughs> yeah, did come up Yeah, because that would be the imprint of his face. He made a lot of money off of it. Forrest provides so much value to everybody around him, but he doesn't try to do it. He's just a naturally valuable person. I had run for three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. Quiet, quiet, he's gonna say something. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> well, you just ran for three years. I think I'll go home now. <laughs> what? Are you running back home now? Now what are we supposed to do? Run around, I don't know, shit. One day, I had a blue clear sky, I got a letter from Jenny, wondering if I could come down to Savannah and see her, and that's what I'm doing here. Henry Street is just five or six blocks down that way. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Imagine he gets hit by a car right there, the movie ends. <laughs> Your letter. They, she, there's a, it, she, 
she has a kid, right? She looks so pretty now. I mean, she's always been pretty, but she looks good. This is my very good friend, Mr. Gump. Here, can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr. Gump. Hello. <laughs> He's so cute. You're a mama, Jenny. I'm a mama. His name's Forrest. Like me. Uh, oh, it's Forrest's kid. I named him after his daddy. Oh my God, that's right. You got a daddy named Forrest too? You're his daddy, Forrest. Isn't he beautiful? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Is is he smart? He's very smart. <sighs> He's one of the smartest in his class. Yeah, it's okay. Go talk to him. <sighs> what are you watching? Fortnite. Who? <laughs> Forrest, I'm sick. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I have some kind of virus. Oh my god, I know what happens now. Know what it is, and there isn't anything they can do about uh... it. Would you marry me, Forrest? Okay. Forrest, it's time to start. <gasps> oh shit! Dude, I've forgotten so much about this movie! Hello, Forrest. You got new legs. Titanium alloy. This is my fiance. Susan. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <Diane. laughs> Hi, Forrest. This is my Jenny. It's nice to meet you finally. <laughs> Do you, I love how Lieutenant Dan's standing up. He's been sitting down long enough. A little family. Same, same bed as Mama died in. Were you scared in Vietnam? I don't know. Sometimes it would stop raining long enough for the stars to come out and then it was nice it was like just before the sun goes to bed down on the bayou million sparkles on the water like that mountain lake that was so clear jenny it looked like there were two skies one on top of the other and then in the desert when the sun comes up i couldn't tell where heaven stopped and the earth began it was so beautiful i wish i could have been there with you you were Son of a bitch. Oh. I love you. You died on a Saturday morning. I had you placed here under our tree. And I had that house of your father bulldozed to the ground. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, fuck that house. Lil Forrest is doing just fine. About to start school again soon. Teaching him how to play ping pong. <laughs> He's gonna rock some kids at ping pong. Forrest, you go. <laughs> we fish a lot. And every night we read a book. She's so smart, Jenny. You'd be so proud of him. I am. He uh, wrote you a, a letter. And he says, I can't read it. I'm not supposed to, so I just leave it here for you. <sighs> I don't know if Mama was right. If it's Lieutenant Dan, I don't know if we each have a destiny or if we're all just floating around accidental like on a breeze but i, I think maybe it's both mm. maybe both is happening at the same time if your destiny is just to float around and experience life find your own purpose and that's your true destiny i miss you jenny if there's anything you need i won't be far away It, it, it makes me like so thankful for my wife and just it makes me just want to hug her and go travel all around the world and just do things that actually matter spending time together i'm such like a tight wad with money and saving shit and playing shit carefully so it's, it, this movie is kind of like a realization for me Whew. here's your bus i know this i'm gonna serve that for so and tell because bram used to read it to you my favorite book the feather. Hey, Forrest. He's so cute. Don't. Look how little he is. I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. I'll be right here when you get back. <laughs> She's still the bus driver? Good thing you're chewing gum now instead of smoking cigarettes. Such a little champ. Started the movie with the feather and we're ending it with the feather. 
God, I love it. This has got to be one of, if not the greatest movie ever made. I mean, honestly, like, it's so perfect. The pacing of it, too, it doesn't feel like it's two and a half hours. It flew by. And that right there is what life is. The destiny of the feathers just to float around, be part of the wind. It's like us. Oh, sweet God. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> That was tough. You know, there's a, there are a few movies in life where you have to watch them time and time again every few years just to remember what the message is. I think the message with this movie is so good. that You watch it at different times in your life and you get different meanings from it and it's applicable to you at that age, at that time in your life, through those different struggles, through those different experiences. Revisiting this movie at 29 years old, it's like, it's so iconic, it's a phenomenon. It's like, it's it hits so differently. It's like one of the most heartwarming, tearjerker movies ever. It, it encompasses American history, it ties in and, and shows Forrest almost being responsible for all these culturally impactful iconic things that we're all used to, that we all see. Um, the visual effects were crazy, him meeting all the presidents, the storyline, more importantly that we haven't touched on, Tom Hanks acting in this movie. It was so incredible. It's like, he is created for his Gump and its own character. You're watching it and Tom Hanks is so iconic, but you don't think of it as Tom Hanks, you think of it as Forrest Gump. It, it is the perfect movie. There is not one thing I would change about it. Not one casting call, not one scene, not one inflection of their voice. Every single thing about this movie is so perfect. And it's kind of a good reset button. It's a refresher of what life is all about. And the fact that I get to share that moment with you guys right now, I could not be more thankful for that. So I wanna say thank you guys for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this movie with me. Thank you guys for everything. All that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace! <laughs>